Hello, happy Metaphysical Monday. I know I'm getting this out there a little bit late and I do apologize, but I'm pretty sure it'll be out there before the end of Monday. Um, but happy Metaphysical Monday. And today's topic um, kind of just came to me out of the blue. Um, so I guess that would be my intuition. I have to apologize. I'm going to try and keep looking down just a little bit because those like uh, ring light things, they don't work so well. So um, I'm going to try and not blind you with the reflection of the lighting because it's kind of getting dark already. Um, it's been a long day. So I wanted to talk to you about um, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So a lot of, um, a lot of readers will, you know, when they're shuffling their cards, you know, what, are, what advice do we have for Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? And, Venus? and it's kind of like what the hell does that mean? Right? Um, I, I know that we have other signs and I've heard of astrological charting and, uh, or your natal chart is they're called. Um, but you know, I'm not, I'm not an astrologer. I'm not super into astrology. Not yet. I'm getting there though. Cause it's, there's a lot of information. So I'm going to try and make this kind of beginner level, um, just to, um, help you when you're looking at your, um, tarot readings. I mean, I'm not the only person out there that does Zodiac tarot readings. So um, I thought this would help people because I know I find, found myself asking this question before I started doing the readings. Um, so um, I wanted to compile all of the answers and kind of let you know what that's all about. So we're already almost two minutes in and I haven't started yet. So um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus are just a few of many other aspects to your astrological chart, right? Um, there's, I think there's like 12 houses. There's, um, there's just, there's just a whole lot that goes into it. So, um, these are the most common ones. These are the ones I hear the most, and you probably do too, when you're, um, looking for your, um, tarot readings or tarot scopes, they're called now, or your horoscope. Um, but, so I'm going to just go over these ones. Um, if you don't know what your sun, well, you know your sun sign, right? Your sun sign is your sign, you know, the one that you know the most um, from your birthday, right? Uh, that's the basic one um, that everybody kind of knows about. And um, so in order to do that, there are a lot of astrology websites out there that will figure out your natal chart for free. Um, cafe astrology, it, it's either astrology cafe or cafe astrology. I'll have to find that. I'll try and link it in the description box. Um, and then another one that I just found is moon cats astrology, moon cats astrology. Yes.com. I believe, um, moon cats, plural. If you're Googling it, I'll try and link it in the description. If, unless I forget, I'm sorry. Um, I'll try to remember, <clears throat> but there are a lot of, um, apps as well. You can put you put in your your birth date, they can find your sun and your moon and uh, some of the other stuff just from the date. Um, but in order to get your rising sign, I know for sure, and probably a couple of others, um, you will have to know your time and your place of birth, the city and state, um, in order for some of the things to come up like your rising sign. So, all right, let's get into it. Your sun sign, the one that you know from your birth date. Um, I'm a cancer. I was born June 24th. Um, so from June 21st to July 20th or whatever the actual cusp date is, um, that's cancer. That's just based off of your birth date and no other information is needed for that, right? Um, so your sun sign, what that means, your sun sign, sign is your conscious self, your ego self, your outer and obvious self, right? It's, um, you know, cancers, I'm going to keep going back to cancer because I'm a cancer, but, um, cancers are notoriously, um, emotional people, right? That's just how they're, that's just how they are, I guess, you know, that's just the, an assumed quality of a cancer. Thank you. Um, but the main thing that sums up can the, um, the sun sign that I found that really screamed out like the best description to me was the behavior you are most comfortable with. So that's, you know, what you feel comfortable showing the world, right? Okay, so your moon sign. Your moon sign is how you deal with emotions or fears. 
your inner awareness of yourself. It's more of your primal subconscious self. This is the stuff that you may not acknowledge outwardly, um, but sometimes, you know, your, your, uh, your moon sign can be showing, you know what I mean? So, um, if, if you have ever met somebody that's the same sign as you, but you're completely different uh, and you're like, this person does not even act like a cancer. This person is way more outgoing or is way more, um, way more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? confident. Why was that so hard to reach for? Um, somebody, you know, like they're just completely different. It could be their moon sign that, you know, they could be showing you their moon sign. Uh, and that's why you feel so different from them. Um, it's also how you love your moods and how you act in, in intimate relationships, how you relate to people really. Um, and it's kind of like, you wear your sun sign when you go to work or school, you know, that's your, that's who you are portraying to the people of the planet. Um, and then you get home, you take off your clothes, your mask, your makeup, you know, put your hair up and, um, and you relax and that's your moon sign, right? That's, that's what comes out, um, kind of beneath the surface, I would say. Um, the other one is your rising sign or your ascending sign or your ascendant sign, um, depending on where you get it charted, um, is how others see you, your impressions on others. It's um, kind of, if you're ever like surprised by how somebody else would describe you, you've ever done like a, um, a questionnaire for a job interview and they ask, you know, like, how would your friends describe you? It's kind of related to that. It's it's how they would see you, but sometimes you would be surprised at their answer. Um, just because everybody's different, they may perceive something that um, you're giving off that you're not really meaning to give off, and that would be your rising sign. Um, your first impression on people, uh, your aspirations, and like I said before, this is one that you have to know um, the exact time and place of your birth to find out. Um, it's... Um, it's the sign that's on the eastern horizon at the time and from the place that you were born, I guess. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not an astrologer. Uh, astrologer, yeah. <laughs> Astrology, astronomy, oh my gosh. High school science. Okay, and your Venus sign. The Venus sign is the other one. The Venus sign is one that I really... I never really cared too much for until like recently I started looking at like what the heck does all this stuff mean um, Venus really is that Venus is the planet of love it's kind of governing over relationships how you are in a relationship what you look for in a relationship um, your values um, your approach to relationships and possessions and material things and money it's how you relate to money how you relate to stuff um, how materialistic you are, and uh, what else did I write down here? Your creative expressions, your expectations in love, what you desire from a relationship is going to be um, affected by what sign your Venus, what sign um, Venus is in at the time and place of your birth. So I don't know why my camera keeps doing that, probably because it's dark and it can't find me. So I'll make this um, quick. But so that's your sun, moon, uh, rising, and Venus, and what they kind of mean for you. So your next steps would be to, um, there's no affiliate. I'm not like supporting any specific website. These are just ones that I've seen, um, but click on one of the ones in the description and enter all of your information, and it will calculate your natal chart. Um, I know the cafe astrology one is super long, right? I tried screenshotting all of them. I think I ended up with like 20 something screenshots of my like needle chart descriptions and like what everything means. But really the main thing that you would want to, um, oh my gosh, I wish I would stop doing that. <laughs> Maybe if I take off my glasses. Okay, I think that's better. So... <laughs> Um, the main thing you really want to know from your natal chart is what sign is in these, um, it, your moon, your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising or ascending sign, 
and your Venus sign. Um, and I feel like that's a good start to kind of dip your toes in the water of astrology. Um, I feel like that's a good start. Uh, just start with the basics. It's easier that way. Bite-sized chunks, right? Um, and then once you know what sign those are in, then I would, you don't have to stick with just the report that the website gives you. Google it, you know, like my moon, I'm, uh, I don't know what my Venus is. I can't remember. I think it might be Taurus. Um, I'm a sun cancer, moon Leo and rising or ascending Taurus. And I'm pretty sure my Venus is Taurus as well. So what all you would do if you want to know more information about what that means for you and your personality and um, how that affects your life, really, um, you can uh, just Google, you know, um, moon sign in Leo or uh, ascending Virgo or whatever your whatever you find out. So I will... Um, Link those and the ones that I find in the description so you can kind of um, see which one resonates for you uh, for getting your information. But um, definitely let me know what you find out. Um, let me know what your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs are in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I'm so sorry that this is kind of late. Um, but yeah, shit happens. <laughs> it's the new moon too. So um, I really don't want to start this cycle off by missing a metaphysical Monday. So I have to get it in there, right? Um, also, I was going to pick the winner for um, the Selenite giveaway from two weeks ago. I am going to do a special video just for that on Friday this week. So um, yeah, I was going to try and figure out a cool way to present it. So, um, so stick around for that. Uh, thank you again for watching. The link to the playlist for the rest of the Metaphysical Monday videos is also in the description box. Um, I also just posted New Moon uh, tarot readings and I'm going to give away a tarot reading um, when I hit a thousand subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that button and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.